I just saw someone spit on my car. <laughs> Ew! Mm. Yeah! It... Right? So every morning I go for a walk. This morning I'm walking around my new apartment building. I'm just walking, okay? I'm minding my own business. I look over and I see my car minding its own business. And next to my car minding its business, I see a man wanting to mind my car's business, okay? Don't do that. So as I glance over, I notice this guy's eyeballing my car up and down, okay? So I start eyeballing him up and down. It wasn't sexual. He's got my attention, okay? Now I'm watching. And then he just spits on my car. <laughs> there was no, like, setup to it. There was no verbal confrontation. No, it was just, like, on the car. <laughs> I have uh, no ideas as to why he wanted to spit on my car. I don't... I wasn't about to ask him either. He was huge. I'm five foot seven, so physical confrontation's not an option for me, but spiteful video confrontation is, so here we are. I understand sometimes people have to spit, okay? It's a nasty habit, but people do it. But the problem with that is that there was nothing on either side of my car, okay? Just empty spaces for as far as the eye could see, miles and miles. Little did he know there was a small frame ginger boy watching from afar. <laughs> this wasn't just like a regular spit like and then like does that thing and you're like trying to break it off no it wasn't one of those it was an intentional one okay it was it had some drawl to it <laughs> okay he put his right foot back okay he put his right foot back in he did the hokey pokey and then he spit on my car <laughs> he put his right foot back so he could plant his body weight so he could project onto the windshield <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's> so gross <laughs> This man spit a Mario and Lugie on top of my hood of my car. Maybe that's his way of showing appreciation. I don't know. It's a weird way of showing appreciation, but if that's how you do things, I would love to show you my appreciation. <laughs> Let me plant my right foot real quick. Let me get a good one. And when I was walking and I saw him physically spit on top of the hood of my car, why am I, it's not funny. The first thought that came to my head when I saw him do it was to yell out, there's starving kids in Africa, but then I realized that make that doesn't apply to this situation. But I realized my heart was in a good spot when I wanted to say it, which is also why physical confrontation's not my thing. So after my walk, I go to my apartment, I get a text message on my phone that's from the apartment complex, okay? So the text message said, just a reminder, it's the holiday season, there's gonna be crime, lock your cars, lock your house, Hide your kids, hide your wife. First off, this ain't a reminder, okay? This is the first time I'm hearing about this so-called crime uh, and witnessing it firsthand. It would be considered a reminder if, oh, I don't know, as I'm signing the papers, you said, oh, and by the way, people spit on cars here. 